Hello, who doesn't love fireflies? But alas, there are so many things we don't know about them. So, here are top 5 burning questions you want to ask about fireflies and we've got the answers for you. Here is our burning question number 1. How do we tell apart male firefly from female firefly or firefly larva? Well, let's start with the basics. Firefly is such a beautiful name, isn't it? But did you know that almost every language in the world has its own beautiful name for firefly? In Southeast Asia alone, there are more than 10 different beautiful names for firefly in local languages. Did you also know that fireflies are actually beetles, not flies? They belong to a beetle family called Lampyridae. Like their beetle cousins, fireflies have big eyes and head with antenna, pronotum covering the head, two pairs of wings with one of the pairs hardened as wing cover called elytra. But what makes fireflies special from other beetles is their light organ in their abdomen. It is also good to note that fireflies have a complete metamorphosis life cycle, which means they undergo four stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Some species take longer time to complete their life cycle. Some species take shorter time. The life cycle you are looking at right now belongs to Theroptix firefly, which is our Southeast Asia special. So, how to tell the male, female, and larva of fireflies apart? For male and female adults, you can actually tell them apart by looking at the shape of their light organ. Female fireflies light organ takes up only one segment of her abdomen, while male fireflies light organ takes up two segments of his abdomen. And larva actually looks like a worm but a glowing one. In some species, the male and female fireflies look even much more different from each other. In this case, some females actually look like larvae. They are called larviform females. Here is an example of larviform female. This female is from genus Lampigera. She cannot fly, so she has to emit very bright glow so that the flying male fireflies are able to look at her. Mind-blowing, isn't it? Next up, burning question number two. How many firefly species are there in the world? Do you want to take a guess? Yes, the answer is more than 2,000 species of fireflies. Each one of the species has its own interesting look and appearance. So, where can we find fireflies? Well, we can find fireflies almost everywhere except Antarctica. Out of 2,000 species, it is estimated that more than 300 species of fireflies can be found in Asia and the Australo-Pacific region. Here is the map showing where the fireflies are. And we're only talking about just one subfamily. Fireflies love humid and warm environments like Southeast Asia, especially areas like freshwater or Melaleuca swamp, mangroves, lowland or highland forests. Look at that flashing display. Spectacular, right? This is Southeast Asia special. It's phenomenal. And that brings us to burning question number three. How do fireflies emit light? And why do fireflies do that? You must be wondering how fireflies light up. The star of the slideshow are special cells called photocytes. This can be found inside a firefly's light organ. All you need is a recipe of 
1. Adenosine triphosphate or better known as ATP Luciferin plus some help from enzyme luciferase with the presence of oxygen from the air and voila, you've got light! So, why do fireflies light up? Fireflies actually use lights to communicate, to talk to each other. First, as a warning signal to their predators that they are not pleasant to be eaten. Second, as a unique identity code because different species has different flashing signals. And third, to attract their mates. The male fireflies flash the lights in specific patterns to attract the females. The whole mating process could take several hours at night. Unfortunately, this mating and courtship process can be easily disrupted by light pollution. And that brings us to our next burning question number four. What can endanger our firefly population? Here is some sad news. Fireflies are disappearing from our earth. What's the cause of it? There are so many reasons, but these two are the examples. 1. Our artificial lighting creates too much light at night, causing light pollution and disrupting our fireflies. 2. Fireflies are losing more of their homes day by day as humans redeveloped more natural land for own use. But let us not lose hope because our burning question number 5 will share what the current conservation efforts are ongoing for our fireflies. Actually, there are many past and ongoing research on fireflies, including species recovery program, mangrove planting, and citizen science. We even have a dedicated international group of firefly scientists and enthusiasts called Fireflyers International Network or FIN. Currently, there are more than 200 FIN members representing over 20 countries including scientists, artists and naturalists. FIN is the main organizer of World Firefly Day which takes place on first week of July. We also have Firefly Specialist Group under International Union for Conservation of Nature, or better known as IUCN, dedicated to conserve threatened firefly species around the world. So, what can we do to help? 1. If you live close to a firefly habitat, simply turn off the lights when you don't need it. Easy, right? Two. Help scientists by reporting firefly sightings to conservation agencies. 3. Join firefly conservation organizations such as FIN. And let's celebrate World Firefly Day every first week of July. Lastly, respect the firefly's presence. Fireflies are sensitive and shy creatures, so they are best observed as quietly and as far away as possible in their natural habitats or even better, virtually, thanks to technology. And that's a wrap! Thank you for watching this video. This Burning Questions video is made to celebrate World Firefly Day and this was made possible by 250 survey participants. Happy World Firefly Day from us!